Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Recently, I've had a question on how you can control sibilance on voiceovers, particularly as it's such an easy effect to get, but not necessarily an effect you want. Sibilance is basically where the top end sort of distorts and sounds a little bit, well, tinny and scratchy and unpleasant to the ears. Usually, it occurs between 4K and 10K on the frequency range. Let me give you an example. Come over and have a look at this waveform in Adobe Audition and let me play you the whole thing. Sibilance is certainly unpleasant. Oh, and that really hurt my ears playing that back. Uh, so that first initial s has it the worst. Listen. S oh, <laughs> wearing headphones, that's really, really difficult to comprehend. Anyway, I'm going to erase it now uh, with a really simple effect in Adobe Audition CC. It's actually the native de-esser, which gets rid of that horrible sibilance. The best way to get rid of it, though, is at source, before you actually record into Adobe Audition. And if you're using a mic processor such as the DBX286S, I show you exactly how to eliminate sibilance using a microphone processor in another video on my channel. So let's head into the effects rack, amplitude and compression, and there it is, the D esser. Now you've got many presets here, many different controls, but really I'm just going to go for a simple one, uh, like a bit of ducking between the four and six kilohertz frequencies. So let's select that there. Very tiny frequency range, but it should have a dramatic range. Uh, in fact, it'll probably have a little bit too much of an effect. Let's listen. Sibilance is certainly unpleasant. As you can see there on the little green gain reduction, it's really working awfully hard. So I'm just going to pull the threshold up a bit to maybe around, let's say, minus 15 and have a listen. Sibilance is certainly unpleasant. And as you can hear with your own ears, it's already sounding a little bit better. I'm going to adjust the frequency range just a notch so that we can get a slightly bigger effect there. Sibilance is certainly unpleasant. And now you'll see the gain reduction is quite happy. It's flicking into the center as it reduces those sibilant S's. And that's it. That's all you have to do to get rid of sibilance from any voiceover. But as I say, check out my other video on the DBX286S and you'll see how to eliminate sibilance at source. For more videos, hit subscribe. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.